Welcome everyone. This is an updated video of an upcoming whale and dolphin energy light medicine course with Lori Rayon. This is a fascinating school where you can get certified to go and take this beautiful healing work out into the world. Hi, Lori. How are you doing? Welcome. Hi, Loren. I'm doing really well. Thanks for hosting this. We're so excited to share the wisdom and the upcoming announcement that the uh, the 2024 Whale and Dolphin Energy Light Medicine School, big name, right, is yeah. opening actually on April 7th. And it's been almost two years before we've had a class go through the modules and become certified practitioners in these arts. So we're so excited to update the video that you're about to see uh, with the new information and, uh, of course, the new date of April 7th. So uh, we're only about a month away, and we just want people to know if you have the calling in your heart to seek um, healing modalities, either, number one, for your own personal healing, your own expansion and growth. This is a perfect template for you to go through. It's a lot of work. I'm not going to tell you it's not. It's intense, but it's so valuable. And the information that the whales and dolphins teach us about how to create the life body, how to clear out the old energies, and how to calibrate the 12 strands of DNA that comes through the dolphins. So it's a wonderful, wonderful program. And I'm happy to say uh, this is a fifth class that's starting. And again, it's been almost two years since the last class graduated, but we're ready. You know, we're excited. Um, so the dolphins and whales say, are you called to higher consciousness? Are you called to seek a modality that you can either do again for yourself or number two, uh, do part time to create additional income and to help people all over the world with this wonderful work that you'll be certified in or full time. We have some people out there doing it full time like myself. And just changing lives, you know, doing this wonderful work as we call them in. So um, we're just really proud to share the information about how you can become certified or just continue on your own path of expanded uh, teachings. The dolphins and whales uh, are the elders on our planet. They are the ancients. And I've been a telepathic teacher for a number of years, but it's such a great joy to be their voice. Uh, the program involves um, uh, coming to class on Sundays from Pacific time, 10 to five, it's held in a Zoom room. So, and, and the replays are, because we have people all over the world to participate. We have a replay page that you'll be able to access eternally. It'll always be there for you. And we work with classmates uh, in learning the templates. You know, we're, we're giving new information every Sunday and then uh, the following classes are every two weeks. So uh, you'll be able to scroll down on this page and see the schedule itself. But know that if you can't physically be present that you can still participate and effectively even graduate. I have. As I said, graduates now in Australia and all over Europe, Canada, Mexico, 17 countries and four languages that people have been called to do this work and are out in the world creating miracles in the, you know, in, in partnership with the dolphins and whales. So, um, but I have a, a brief announcement here. So in late uh, 2023, um, three new white whales came to the planet. Previous to that, there were 12. And you learn about the history of them, how they came in in 2012, and they told us they were here to create light body and to help the world prepare for ascension. But three new white whales came in. What a joy and what an experience. So they're all working now to, together to create two new healing templates that aren't even up on the website. It should be up next week. Number 13. Number 13 is light body, anti-aging, youthing, and time travel. So I've been experimenting with it, even just this last couple of weeks with clients. And they're just weeping with joy because these three new whales, their names are Zonia, Leisha, and Wei Lun, and they all three work with you at the same time. It's a multidimensional experience, not just one, but all three of them work with you and they kind of merge their consciousness and you come into this womb-like thing. It's so amazing. So during the, uh, the experience, you have a little bit different um, energy of expansion that comes to you through experiencing this new template. And it wouldn't be the first one we would give you, but you know, you can go, uh, to you know, our healing work and experience that, or you can come to the school and experience it where you'll receive it and also learn to give it. Number 14 is understanding multidimensionality. So again, you work with three wells at the same time going through the template and healing yourself. So uh, we also have a new dolphin in our presence. His name is Trinity. Uh, he's in a physical white body that's in the, the Caribbean right now, but he also comes to us energetically. And we bring in the consciousness now of the golden dolphin avatars and even the golden dragons that are within the earth are coming in. So. It's a multi-sensory experience, just really amazing. So uh, in concluding, they told us that we're now connecting to 22 different galaxies in what they call the Omniverse. That's the timeline we're in now with Mother Earth. And with the assistance of the dolphins and whales, we enter into this diamond-shaped kind of uh, Arcturian healing chamber that's out in the cosmos. 
and they take you to this incredible place where they do the attunements and they work with all 12 strands of our DNA. So I'm so excited. I can't tell you to have you in class. And it also includes the modules and the uh, the PowerPoints and the audios all come with uh, the training and you receive a beautiful manual that you'll have with you. And then module two follows. There's not a whole lot of information in dates up yet. Module two dates are usually set by the module one class. Usually about two weeks in, then we, we set up those dates so it's convenient for everyone. Then you work with certification with the 12 strands of DNA, which is quite a teaching. It's really wonderful. So, so I just want to open your hearts to explore this, to visit the, the teachings and the wisdom, the channeling. And uh, you can always contact me personally if you have questions. Okay. We Pardon are me. so thank excited. So wow, Lori, thank you for this update and the newness. Now we know why there was a postponement at the end of last year because there's these new whales coming in and new energies as well. So it's really exquisite. And I know people are gonna to wanna to work with this and timing is all in divine essence. So perfect. It is. And we've got the video uh, with students from the class. We've done this before, but we're gonna play that now so that people can learn more about what we're talking about. It really is exquisite. Oh, welcome everyone. We are here today talking about higher consciousness in the healing realms with the great whales and dolphins. My guest today is Lori Rayon. She is an interspecies and animal communicator, and she has been working with the whales and dolphins for decades now, literally following the call of her heart and following the guidance that she receives within. And so with this, she has created a school where she teaches practitioners to go out in the world and share consciousness of the whales and dolphins. Hi, Lori, thank you for being here. Welcome. Thank you, hi, Loren. It's very exciting when we can come together to share the wisdom and the healing techniques that the whales and dolphins have offered us. They are the ancients on our planet. And I think many of you are awakening to that. They've been here long before Humanity arrived. They actually walked up right on the planet uh, to set up the stage, so to speak, for humanity to come. They carry what they say within them, the codes of creation, which are able to assist humanity now as we rise in our consciousness to be able to connect with them, to seek out this wisdom and the healing alignments that they give us. Working with them has been truly what I call entering the miracle zone. Uh, I was born fairly telepathic with animals. It was a special gift that I think God bestowed upon me when I was born. And to be completely honest, I thought everybody had it. Well, everyone does have it. But I mean, I thought everybody had it activated. So I spent most of my childhood and my teen years talking to dogs and my dogs and cats and my horse. And I, I consider them my first teachers because they told me all about love and all, all about how to connect to nature and to be on the planet. And they told me so many things. And it really wasn't until I think uh, that I left uh, Nebraska where I was raised and I came out to California and I went into veterinary school and I kind of you know, went into what I call Western medicine and no disregard for that, but it wasn't my cup of tea. And in, in a sense, it shut that part of me down for a number of years where I didn't really believe in it anymore because I was told it wasn't real. Fortunately, in 1994, then I, I moved um, to Baja, Mexico after a, a car accident, basically to recover. And the dolphins came right to me. They came up to this little beach house I had every day and they taught me and they talked to me and my cat, who's my partner now, Master Cat Pooter, was there in a different body, previous incarnation, and was right there with me, guiding me, saying, the dolphins want to talk to you, and you can do this, you know, you can open to their wisdom. And over about three years, I did, I did open to it, and they were so uplifting and joyful, and guided me back on this, this path that really is my destiny. So it's so great to share some of this with all of you. And where we are now, we were entering into the fifth year of launching the Whale and Dolphin Energy Medicine School. That's a lot of words, isn't it? Whale and Dolphin Energy Light Medicine. And we have two modules. One is training with what we call the white whales on the planet. And the other is training with uh, what we would consider the bottlenose dolphins that have actually ascended there. They've been on earth, they've lived and they've uh, left and they come back in spirit and they teach us so many things about our DNA and about the, the, mechani the mechanisms of our DNA and the operating systems and how they can assist us in recalibrating that to claim our mastery and our own self-empowerment. It's very exciting work. Um, and they told me, interestingly enough, that if I would create the school and I would start to share this wisdom that they had given to me to, with other people, that this information would go around the world. And that is their intention now to, to bring forth their wisdom to the people because we're ready. 
were ready for the next step. Um, and so I agreed to do it. And I'd already been working with them for, I think, about 19 years where I was doing individual healing sessions as I was so guided with the information and the sounds that they project. But I created the manuals. I created the school. And now, um, after four years of this training, we have gone around the world. Uh, to my knowledge, we have students um, that have come to class from 13 countries and are out in the world now, many of them. And we are in, I think, six languages four of which uh, we're just starting to publish the, where the, the actual manuals will be published in that language so the, the practitioners can use their own language with their clients. So the, the prophecy is true. The Wells and Dolphins also told me that this, these techniques that we share with you will be in the medical buildings in just a very short period of time because people are awakening to the truth and the power of working with the whales um, and the dolphins. Okay, All dolphins, by the way, are whales. They're toothed whales. So there's different species of whales, but the whales we mainly work with are the humpback whales, and their purpose here is to assist humanity. So it's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Wow, Lori, it's wonderful that this will be in the medical arena in a few years. And mm -hmm. um, isn't it interesting the when when people are in the water with the dolphins, or even on a boat, or even see them on a shore, the joy that comes up within us is testimony to the healing effect that they offer. And yes. as and the whales, I mean, it's a different energy. They're both different. The whales is just much more, they still bring joy, but there's just more of a mastery with the whales as well. Yes. And um, isn't it interesting not to go too dark, but if we look at our history on the planet with the, the government and the way that the work of some of the leaders that did research with dolphins and the sounds of dolphins, how they shut down um, some of the information coming out on that, but it's mm. not being shut down anymore. It's out there. Um, right. Are you thinking that the, the the walls have come down on the? Very yeah, much so. It's getting better every day as the consciousness rises. More and more people. You know, I have hundreds of people, you know, over the years, thousands of people contact me. And right now what I'm getting in emails and phone calls is people are dreaming of the whales and dolphins. They're coming into their meditations. Uh, they're contacting the people. And then the people go online and they look for something. And then fortunately, our name or our website will pop up. Uh, you know, I've, a lot of my work started with just animal communication, dogs, cats, horses. Then it moved into dolphins and whales. Um, and so they find us and then they find out, wow, I could I could have a session where that particular part of me is reactivated and it becomes, you know, integration and alignment for me. Uh, we've seen almost every miracle you can imagine uh, in, he in the healing realms with the dolphins and whales. And then we experience all kinds of other things, even including myself. Last year was the most challenging year for my health I've had in my whole life. And I know that we all create our own reality. So I had a lot to learn. I had lessons to come in that I had not yet integrated. And evidently I wasn't paying attention. So they put me in a chair and they told me I had to relearn to walk and breathe properly, all of these things. So um, I'm grateful for the experience, even though, you know, the, the human side of me going, wow, I wish I didn't have to do that. But the other side of me is I'm a different person because of it. And so the healing that occurs for you when you work with the dolphins and whales comes directly with your connection to your higher self. Your higher self will guide them. And they scan your Akashic records, which is the journey of your soul over every lifetime. And they look into your records. Then they, they're connected to your higher self and your higher self will say, okay, you can help my human here. You can fix this. You can fix this. You can fix this. Well, I can't fix that. They haven't received the lesson of that yet. That's still part of the emotional package that I'm working with them on. And that's part of their journey in this lifetime. So we never really know. You know, it's very customized what's going to happen. But it's always so loving and it's always so powerful and it's always revealing, I guess is what I want to say. Everything from physical to emotional blocks and diseases and conflicts can occur. Um, I've seen them break up emotional situations where people are working right next to somebody that just kind of wants to claw their eyes out. You know, they don't have any idea why that person's not getting along with them. It's a karmic thing. And they can cut that cord. They can set you free. Uh, I've seen everything from bones go back in place um, to tu lots of tumors last year being removed, lots of breast cancer being healed. person was ready. They were ready for that. And then they, that was the boost. Um, lots of calibration of the DNA where we, we start to come into the mastery that's stored in our DNA from previous lifetimes. So they access that because you say it's okay. And then they bring forth the gifts that you already have within you. You just haven't used them yet. So you get them, but and you don't really even sort of have to practice anymore. 
like maybe it's music, maybe it's art, maybe it's engineering, who knows? And so, and every, I think everybody can say at some point after they've worked with the whales, more of their gifts come forward quite easily and surprisingly so. So that's exciting. Yeah. Also, um, in recent years, Dr. Emoto, who's the man that brought forth the consciousness that water is sentient, he photographed the crystalline structure of water and he proved that water is alive. And of course, guess what's in our bodies? <laughs> water. <laughs> so we now know by listening to the humpback whale song, this is scientifically proven that the song alone activates a new crystalline structure in the bloodstream, in the water molecules in your body. And listening to the whales in 30 seconds, the blood crystals start to change into the geometric form of a double star tetrahedron. Well, guess what that is? That's the that's the geometric structure of the Merkaba or the light body. So it's it's confirmation that when the whales told me to create the whale and dolphin energy medicine school, that we would do light body activations. No kidding, huh? So guess what the most powerful sound is for you to do? Just put whale sounds on in your house. I'll tell you, just this last week, we had a dog that was very, very sick, mercury poisoning, almost died. Put whale sounds on. He was bouncing around, jumping on the couch the next day, eating his food. Uh, his immune system kicked in. He needed, he, he wanted the whale sound. Didn't have to go to the vet. Imagine that, you know? So animals are almost immediately responsive to the whale sounds, and people can be. As, as we let our blocks down, right, we could, we could let those whale sounds in. And, you know, we all know sound healing is just, it's powerful in all of its modalities, but I highly recommend you tune into the whales with, for sound, sound healing. That's wow. a big part of our, big part of our school too. Yeah. You know, whenever we need our energy upgraded or to help with emotional issues, situations, just turn on the whales. We're going to listen to some whales or a meditation as well with dolphins in this episode. We're looking forward to that because that experiential helps us feel the energy and how it is palpable mm -hmm. and how it does shift. Right. Ourselves. So that's right. beautiful. I just want to commend you on uh, your journey. Um, you know, vet school, that was really laying the groundwork for you yes. to make the choice, yeah. right? And yeah, like advanced vet school. Well, that's, a vet degree is 10 years. Of course, it's very hard to even get into vet school. Um, but I did five years, uh, and it was some of the most difficult years, and, and sorry to say unhappy years, because even though I loved being with the animals, I loved learning the anatomy, and I loved uh, seeing some of them get well through the different techniques, even surgery. But, I, you know, there's a huge part of me that just isn't there with the drugs, the pharmaceutical drugs, the euthanasia, the, the cages, you know, as a part of me that just wants to see the animals in their free environment, you know and work with them energetically. And I hadn't discovered any of that at that point. That's when the near-death experience came in and my, my connection with the dolphins in Baja. I had dolphin teachers literally for three years and I was pretty isolated. There weren't a lot of people coming around telling me this is stupid, you know. Uh, those dolphins and I connected from the heart. One of the dolphins, I named him Simon. He used to come uh, up to my house, little house I had on the beach in Baja. And then when I'd get in the car and I'd drive north to the, to the States, um, the toll road, if you've been down there, it's right along the beach in the area I lived in, which was La Salina. And he would swim and I could see him jumping in the water right with my car as far as he could. And then he'd be there when I came home, he'd be jumping, meeting me. It was like almost like a dog, you know, he was just so loving. He was wanted to go with me, wanted to greet me when I came home. And we just developed this really incredible relationship where I learned to trust. And then I started to give like my friends, you know, I'm saying, you know, Simon's saying, Simon says, uh, this and this and this about you, you know, like little messages about their relationships or their job or the food they were eating. And people go, how does he know that? And I said, I don't know, but he does. <laughs> He's got great advice. So I started to believe in it even more when I started to do what? Uh, share it with others. And that started me on the road. The whales reached me, I think 2008 is when the whales reached me. I used to have severe seasickness. I wanted to go on the boats. I wanted to go swimming out there with them. And I just couldn't do it. I had it when I, from childhood. You know, air sick, boat sick, car sick, you name it. So when uh, I started with four friends and we formed a healing center, Grandma Chandra, she was visiting me and I was promoting her. And she said, when are you going to do your real mission? And I said, what are you talking about? I am doing my mission. I'm bringing in the whale healing. I'm working with the Palladians, talking for the dolphins. I'm talking for Puda. And she said, that's not it. Your real mission is to get out on the boats, take the people out on the boats to meet the dolphins and whales. I said, well, I can't do that. I get seasick. And she said, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And she, you know, she was like, 
She said, okay, here's the deal. I'm going to come back in 30 days. She lived in Arizona. And when I come back, we're going to do a boat trip together. And you've got 30 days to heal that. Get in there and heal that. Do it. When was the last time you tried to heal it? And I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> pardon me. So I did. I mean, I worked on myself. You know, I asked for help. I listened to the whale sounds. I started to apply what I was being taught. Sure enough, that boat trip, I was sweat was pouring off of me. And I was so sure I was going to vomit, you know, in the middle of everybody. I didn't. I was healed. And she always said, if you feel like throwing up, I'll do the messages. It's okay. And I, I, I was able to do them. And she was there with me to support me. But I mean, I, I, what I'm trying to say is whatever it is you're afraid of, you can heal it. Your body wants to heal. And the dolphins and whales can help you. It's there for you now. Isn't that great? Such great news. Yeah, it really is great news. Thank you again. Uh, it's commendable, the work that you do and sharing it around the world. And uh, it's just going to get more exciting and yes. more popular because I think everyone loves dolphins and whales. Um, yes. Even, uh, yeah, um, as the world changes, we're not so tolerant of the mistreatment of dolphins and whales. And that in itself is a, a an awakening code for others. Yeah, yes. Right, yeah, so. It's so much better than it, than it was before. And they don't hold a grudge, you know, I, even, even the big blue whales, you know. There's evidence now that some of them are 200 years old. They've got the harpoons in them wow. from back in the day of the whaling. And wow. when you talk, the few times I've talked with blue whales, they've said, look, we're here. You don't worry. You know, if people want to kill us, we'll just come back. It's no problem. It's like getting a new dress. It's no big deal. Uh, they don't want to be killed, but I mean, they don't take it personally. They don't have anything except love in their body and their hearts. And they understand that the humans on our planet right now are like little two-year-olds. You know, we're like little toddlers throwing, throwing rocks at each other. They know that. And they know that we're awakening. And when we awaken, we'll come back to the heart, which is to realize we're all one. And each and every person and every animal has a purpose. And that purpose is to share love in a way that's unique to them. And these blue whales, they're the guardians of the planet. I mean, they're just so amazing. They, they swim up and down the coastlines from Costa Rica. And they align the star fields. You know, they clear negativity and energy from the planet. There's this huge, the largest creature on the planet. You know, their heart's the size of a car. That's how big they are. They're wow. just s swimming in bliss and just just loving. And fortunately, no one's killing them anymore. And they're coming back. You know, when I was a child, they weren't even in the, the books, encyclopedias. They, they were considered extinct. That's how there was probably only maybe 10 or 11 of them left on the planet. Wow. And now they've come back. Thank God, you know. I just got um, angel bumps on that one, really. <laughs> Uh, amazing. So um, for those who are new to this, cetaceans, um, the whales are different. They have a different mission than the dolphins. Can you share the mission of the whales? They, are they the record holders for our planet? They, they are. They're the Akashic record keepers. Um, they're really the healers of the healers. They're the elders. They are the ancients. Um, one of the statements they've given me is they say, uh, the whale and dolphin energy medicine school coming through the consciousness of the whales will create a crystalline matrix in the human form when you choose to work with them. And then activating dormant DNA, uh, allowing the human then to carry more light. What is light? Light is wisdom. Light is information. Light is consciousness. Um, the dolphins are toothed whales. There are species of whales, but they're emissaries of joy. They're in a smaller body. They carry what, what I call rainbow light, all colors and spectrums. They are a bridge, really a bridge to the whales and their assistance to the whales. When we do a whale healing, you know, I still sense and feel the dolphins all around me. I mean, you may or may not believe it, but if you were here, I'd take you out to my backyard and I have a swimming pool and you can see dolphins swimming in my pool, etheric dolphins. You can see the noses. You can see flip flip with the tail and they go scooting around the pool. They open up portals and swim in. And when I go out there, they get so excited. They go, oh, we'll be right back. And then they, they all leave. The pool's quiet. And then whoosh, they come back. And there's like 100 or 150 of them. And they're all around swimming. They can swim around your ankles. And you could do this too. You can put dolphins in your pool. You just have to ask for it. I mean, they're all around us in the etheric, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, it's awfully fun to, to interact with them in the physical. But you don't have to. You don't have to be with them in the physical to receive their wisdom and their healing and what I call their calibration, where they tune up your DNA. Okay. And again, this is a, a, a consciousness that's done between your higher self 
and the dolphins. So if you if you study in our school, we have module one, which is learning all about the whales, particularly the white whales, who are the cos cosmic creators that came back to our planet in 2011. Well, actually, actually March 3rd, 2012 is when they came back. And there are 12 of them here on the planet now. And they're here to create life body activations for us, specifically coming from, from deep in our past before the earth was even created. And now coming forward and they're committed to be here through the ascension, whenever that is, helping each person re rise back up in consciousness and calibrate. Module two is working with dolphins. And once we start working with the whales, the DNA will come in uh, into the picture where we see there are 12 strands of DNA. And it's your electromagnetic operating system. The dolphins can come in and actually calibrate and tune it up. And they can activate DNA that's been within you, but it's dormant and bring it forward. Excuse me. This is where your gifts lie. So th th they work in tandem and, and in harmony together. So hmm. exciting. Um, how would one invoke the dolphins and the whales? Do we just call on them in meditation? Yes, What's that yes. It, you would do it in, through intention and you would do it, uh, well, certainly by playing whale sounds. That, that just summons them and summon them. But if you're interested in the details of what's been given to us and first to me and then I passed on to the students now, we, we've been given a specific process, which we call whale and dolphin healing healing and clearing. And that's the first session we do with everyone. And that is done by connecting to the earth whales, not the cosmic ones, but the earth whales to clear through the power of the violet flame, which is the transmutational purple light, uh, clear every cell, every molecule, every atom, every subatomic particle, and bring in the violet flame to sweep out the, t the negative emotions, emotional blocks, toxins, physical ailments. And then we bring in the celestial light through their spinning Mercado. And that's the first session. Everybody starts there. And for those of us uh, you're going to talk to our girls here in a minute who are graduates. We still do it. I mean, fairly often. If I feel any down in any way, or I feel a little bit sick or whatever, I'll go lie down and do a whale healing and clearing. I'll bring in the violet flame and bring in the earth whales. But we start everybody there. Then if they're ready, we take them to the next step, which is starting a series of light body activations. And for people who are very serious about it, there are 12 of them. And they're not done in order. They're done in, a, you know, actually through muscle testing of which one is effective for you and we'll, sh we'll share this little this little clip here i think everybody will get a better view of what we're talking about here yes uh, it's if, a feeling experience and feel yeah. it that becomes yeah. mm -hmm. but also to connect to the white whales there's still a lot of people on the planet that don't even know they're here and so i'd like to introduce them to you through this video and you know what almost uh 11 years ago coming up today is march 1st and they came I know. Yeah. yeah yeah Amazing. Okay, here we go. Okay, it says it's not happening. Hold on here. Okay, I'll try again. It says that it paused from your end, so I'll try again. Mm. Can you see the screen? We see the screen. Okay, so I'm going to try again. Ascension tool number nine, creating light body. In preparing for ascension, it is important to understand that you are a multidimensional being. It is important to understand that you are capable of conscious time travel. In our meditation, we are going to suggest that you visualize now the eye of the great whale. Now together, we will gently travel to and enter the eye of this great whale. The eye is a portal or a stargate. This portal to a different star system feels familiar and it is perfect and right for you. And now accompanied by your angels and guides, we enter into this multidimensional gateway with ease and grace. Within this vortex of great energy are the memories of how to return to waveform and become a light being. It is important to understand that the water-based body you currently inhabit is now being restructured and transformed into a crystalline body of light. You have the power within you to change your water body 
into a light body. In our multidimensional travel, we see ourselves now gently changing the molecular and atomic structure of our body into that of pure, crystalline, rainbow form. We experience an immense sense of gratitude for this experience as we remember our point of origin and experience ourselves once again that of pure light. We see our divine life blueprint and the patterns of perfection within ourselves. We see and experience in the truth of our divine self and the origin of our creation. As we experience the perfection and truth of who we are, we envision our body and we see our heart and the blood that runs through our arteries and veins we see the life force that is our blood, and it is beautiful and red flowing within us. And now we begin to see our blood turning gently into silver light. The transformation of the golden spiral sweeps over us and through us. And we are now using the power of our intention to transform our blood into light. We are now silver light. And now, continuing to raise our vibration, we begin to use the power of the golden spiral to transform our silver light into gold. The gold light sweeps through us and becomes one with us as every molecule of our bodies transform into waveforms of gold. Our bodies are transforming into gold light, and our blood has become golden liquid light. And now we witness our organ systems beginning to glow with golden light. And now our lymph and muscle tissues are glowing with the golden light. And now through the power of our intention and the divine light of Creator, our structural skeletal system and our very bones have become one with the golden spiral of light. We have transformed ourselves into a body of golden light, and we are now perfect and pristine. We are now literal patterns of perfection, ascended and free, embodying our ascended form of light. We are now expanded and conscious of our multidimensional selves. And now, gently, it is time to return back to our third dimensional bodies. Return gracefully and easily through the portal that is the eye of the great whale. Return now to your third dimensional awareness, body, and existence. We are bringing with us upgraded patterns of light and DNA. We have transformed our genetic structure and intelligence through the power of intention and our connection to the truth of our divine origins. We have brought the purity and expanded vision of this healing and meditation to our bodies on this day. We are one with all life everywhere. Join with me now and say, I am that I am. I am that I am. I remember I am. I remember I am. I am holy. I am holy. I am sacred. I am sacred. I am light and I am love. I am light and I am love. I am divinity embodied. I am divinity embodied. Master Puddha says, 
Blessed be my creator friends. Let us rejoice. And so it is. I hope you enjoyed that. Beautiful. Thank you so much. We can feel the frequency of that and mm -hmm. we feel so much lighter and so much connected. And we remember, we do remember. And those who are called to work with the practitioner course, they will know in their heart. And yes. um, anything that you could say about the time that it takes, I think I can feel a question of, wow, is this really for me? Or who am I? Absolutely. Yes. What would you say for people who have those questions? I would say go into your heart because um, to train, to be a certified practitioner, to set that intention. Uh, I'm going to let the girls talk to you about it now. It's 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 a lot of work. It's a commitment. Uh, and it takes time to bring your belief system, your consciousness, and then your body to acclimate, to hold this kind of light. When you're sitting with a client, you're not the healer. The whale is the healer or the dolphin or both. You are facilitating their energy, and that energy runs right through you into their body as you're in the room with them, or you're in a long-distance situation with them, which works equally well. But you're a part of that. And so the whales have to tune you up to be able to hold that light. So there's a lot of work we do on ourselves uh, in when we're in the practice sessions, receiving, receiving, and receiving. But there's also a lot of work we do practicing giving. So it's it's a two-way street in that in that sense in the school. And again, I would encourage you, if this appeals to you, you're called to do it, um, consider doing it for yourself without any pressure to complete the homework. If it's something you're looking for a part-time or a full-time, very rewarding career, I, you can speak to me about it. It's, it's changed my whole life. It's probably all, I don't know for sure if this is all I'll ever do. I also facilitate retreats to go and see the dolphins and whales, particularly in the past 10 years before the pandemic. Now, after we're just getting started again. And eventually, you know, we'll go back to Hawaii. Things have changed there to swim with the dolphins. Oh, and then this last year we were in Bimini swimming with the dolphins. So I provide those opportunities too. But most of my life is taken up in doing one-on-one -on -one sessions with people just like you. And most of it's done on the phone or on Zoom because we're, let's face it, we're all in these different locations and it works equally well. I love it when someone can come to my house, but let's get real. Dolphins and whales don't need that. That's for us. You know, they don't need us to be in the same room together to do the work. They come right to you. They literally drop their living Merkaba field around your house and it's larger than your house and you can feel the spin. It's powerful. They bring their light body to you and the whole council comes and stands around your house when they're working on you. It's quite, it's quite amazing. I don't know of any other type of healing on the planet and um, I'm saying this as, in respect to them that can offer you this sense of healing and clearing as well as light body activations and restorative energy. Lots of healers can help you. There's all kinds of he healing modalities, healers on the planet that can help you heal. I don't doubt that. But can they restore the celestial light to your cells in the same setting? So we get the full service of the Merkaba spin, which is blazing the violet flame through every cell, every subatomic particle. And in the same moment, synchronistically restoring those cells with the celestial light of your divine life blueprint. Happens all at once. I mean, really, just boom, boom. You know, you're cleared and you're healed. You're cleared and you're healed at the cellular level. There's nothing like it. And this comes from, again, these elders that are millions of years old. And they've had probably, who knows how many lives as humans before they became whales. These more advanced genetic engineers, I guess you would say. So feel that in your body and feel if that's the right path for you. And, of course, we're all here to answer questions and to support you um, if this is something you feel guided to do. Whatever you decide, it's a win-win, okay? There's, there's a, you can't get it wrong. Okay. It's not possible. And a beautiful investment in your life and a beautiful investment for those who feel the call to step up in service work. How beautiful mm -hmm. are the dolphins and the whales. Yeah. Feeling, helping a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. And then making changes in our medical world as, mm -hmm. you know, there are scientific reports of um, p children who go to work with the whales and there's mm -hmm. the science is there. So as it becomes more mainstream, this is a great opportunity to get out there and be equipped to share it with the world. And speaking of sharing, let's go to some practitioners. We have a couple of gals with us and uh, let's see, who shall we call on first? Uh, I think Candace. Candace has probably been uh, 
Hi, Candace. Uh, well, yeah. There she is. Go ahead and I'm going to turn my camera off. Hi, Candace. Hi. Oh, no, I'll keep mine on. Yeah, stay uh, here, please. Tell us, um, Lori may have questions for you, but I'm interested in, in your personal journey with the dolphins and the whales. What was that like for you to get introduced to this and to really make it a part of your life? And what beliefs did you have to get? Did you yourself and your ego mind have to get out of your own way at first? Um, that's an interesting question. I haven't really thought about that in so long because it's just so much. Oh, at the same time, I think it's a continual process that happens constantly also because I'm still constantly getting out of my own way. But in terms of the beginning, I heard um, Lori speak on something just like this. And I was just blown away. I was like, who is this woman? And I, <laughs> I'm like, what is this? And I remember speaking to you and you suggested I take a class and I was like, okay, I'm doing it. And I've just been in it since then. I was, um, I was waiting for you to start the school actually, cause you would share that you would. And mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, when is it gonna start? When is it gonna start? I'm doing it. Cause it was just for me. And I think other people I know who have been in school have shared similar, just some really deep call of, I just, I need to do this. And it was stronger than anything. There wasn't, I remember, it's more of a memory at this moment, but the feeling of, I can't not do this. Like mm -hmm. whatever I need to move in my life, so that I can do this, it is happening. And it was one of those things for me. And um, and it's been that powerful as it's gone on. Um, can you tell us about what it's like to work with clients now that you're out in the working world sharing this? Yeah, um, I'd love to. Um, so there's, there's the working, my personal work that I do with myself. And then I'm also, which is a huge, huge, huge part of my practice at this point with the whales. And then there's also the work that I'm doing with other people. And it's one of the, one of the modalities that I work with when working with people. Um, and I've actually started, so in the beginning, and like you said, Lori, it's taken me time to acclimate myself to the energies because it's a, you know, you can learn the process. It's in a way it's simple, but it, it's the energy that mm. is moving through that template that is outstanding, which is why I'm so glad to have the template to work with because there's no way that even now, even though I've done it so many times, I'm like, wait, what's next? I have to have it before me because there's just so much that's happening outside of the specific words the 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 template somehow you know because they gave it to lori like this is how we want it to be done and it works and that's it's yeah. still close yeah, it works <laughs> and so a, surprisingly so it works we don't even know how i mean their consciousness is you know it's so beyond beyond but that's yeah. the good thing they wrote it they showed us how to do it and it works yeah and so I, when I do sessions with other people, I know, and so now I've actually developed myself to the point where I'm starting to do group sessions with people as well. Mm -hmm. So that's been really amazing and rewarding and beautiful. And um, the people I work with, they, a lot of times people in the session, in the well, not even just in the beginning, they'll actually fall asleep during the session. Right, right. Um, and so, you know, what's happening during that time, we don't know. But then they come out of it at the end and are like, wow, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> there's not like, sometimes you can't even put words to these things, but it's just like, wow, something just <laughs> happened and I feel different. And, and then you go into your life and things are different and people are responding to things differently. And that's where I would actually love to share about my own personal experience if I can a little bit. Sure with receiving yeah. sessions and doing sessions for myself as well. I feel like I took talk with this forever actually, but, um, but I will have the way that I use it the most in my life at this point is relational. Like something will happen with a person in my life and I'm totally triggered and I don't know how to move forward with them. And I want to, I want to maintain the relationship, but I don't, I get, I just, I don't know how to process all the different layers that are working 
because as we know, maybe other lifetimes or who knows what it is that was brought up, but so a lot of times it's really big. And so what I'll do is I'll do a session with myself with that as the intention. And I come out of it oftentimes with one session, maybe if it, some situations it takes more, but the relationship is completely transformed and the That's issue just isn't there anymore. And I'm like, oh, that relationship almost ended. And now it's even better than it was before. And right. That to me is just shows me because it's it's real. It's real life. And and like I often say it's like things are going like that. And like I do a session and it's like and we can go again. <laughs> and I so that's what I use it, it for. It helps so much in relationships with people. Because yeah. it, it's a it's a whole new perspective that you have and they have too. Now they can't go in and change that person's records because they don't have permission, but they can bring this energy in between the two of you and the whales will decide are they going to cut this cord so you two are no longer really supposed to be together so to speak you've you've run your time together or they find a way to sort of sand it down you know and that person receives an influx of light and then they choose to be oh you know a different person around you it's 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 amazing it's like light that they bring to the person and to you shifts it just shifts it's just like turning on the light in the room it was dark now it's light you know it's so great Oh, it's just great. So many stories of people with uh, spouses, children, uh, work situations that are just vastly improved. Yeah. Yeah. Really well, good. It's practical. It yeah. literally is practical. It's very, it's very practical. Yeah. Transformative. Uh, I see why you call it energy light medicine. It yeah. really is medicine. Wow. It's light. Okay. It is light at another level. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Consciousness. It's 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 consciousness. It's advanced consciousness. Wow. Very mm -hmm. cool. So thank you, Candace. Is there anything else you'd like to say about this journey for someone who's new at it or yeah. sorry, I'll let you finish. No, no, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I I'll, I'll just mention what you said earlier, Lori, about how my experience with the school is that the first year I actually intended to become a practitioner the first year. But what happened for me is that the energy was so strong, or maybe it was just I had such a connection with them that I hadn't tapped into yet that it just came big time to me. Mm -hmm. And I remember we would start class and I literally would have to just lay on the couch with my computer on the coffee table. And just, I was just like, ooh, ooh. I just like, <laughs> was happening. I was just like, Oh my goodness. And I was like, Lori would be speaking. And I was like, I can't understand what she's saying. <laughs> and I just remember being like, how am I going to do this? How am I like, so I just gave myself the gift of, you know what, this first year, I'm just energetically acclimating to what this is. And of course I was getting information too, but I didn't put pressure on myself. Um, after I realized that something even bigger than what I thought, expected to open up was opening for me right and right. then what i was then able to do was do it the second year and at that point i was able to process it with my left brain more so that i can really get the whole process and feel confident um that i can do that going forward so to facilitate it right, right program for me right right excellent yeah well described yeah and you don't know until you get into it what's going to happen you just you come in, they always tell us before every session, they say, return to the innocence of your childhood because we merge with them, you know, energetically. Mostly we go in through the left eye and then we just lay back. And it's just the innocence that facilitates the shift, the healing, the changes. If you're in your analytical mind, you're trying to figure it out. How could this happen? And what's it like? And how could this be possible? It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's it's the love of, of surrender and faith that you're in the presence of an elder and they know what to do. And you just, you know, you just kind of got to give it up. <laughs> and a lot of people, like I said, they, the whales always tell us they go to sleep. I play these beautiful meditations that they give me. Really beautiful. But often people just are taken out. They're taken somewhere else. Um, they go to sleep. And then at the end of the session, you know, we wake them up, or at least we try to wake them up. <laughs> people have to sleep a little longer. And when they come back, they are shifted. That's great, you know. And you never know. I always tell people, don't fight it. If they're taking you out, let let it let it be, you know. 
can always listen to the meditation later. Go with and, the healing. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Candace. One more thing that I really want to say is that for me with the whale and the dolphins, I have developed such a trust with them that, and I think it's pretty natural. People generally naturally trust dolphins, even to like go yeah. swimming with them or anything like that. Right. It's a natural thing to trust them. Yeah. Um, and I've developed such a trust that I'm willing to go places with them that I wouldn't go with anybody else. Yes. And not well said. They will, am I willing to open up those places? There, I can feel there's no judgment from them. So I'm able to expose the darkest parts of me, the most hurt, wounded, deep parts, and they meet me there. And they're mm. able to carry me through it. And I'm able to expose it because I have such a deep trust and, and feel that unconditional love from them in a way that I don't have any other experience of in my life. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. yeah. Thank so you. Great. Really wonderful. I know that, um, wow, I think each of us listening just feel like calling on the whales and dolphins more. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Just making yeah. them part of our lives. Uh, really fascinating. Thank you, Candice. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you, uh, we're going to go to the next person and share some more, but you mentioned template. Um, Lori, is that like a protocol that you were given? Uh, yes, there are, there are 12 templates that were given to me over a period of eight years uh, when the white whales were first identified. And that happened at the Star Knowledge Conference in 11, 11, 11 in Cahokia, Illinois, is when they first came forward. Um, their names were first given through uh, Grandma Chandra, and then they were just handed to me, and it was sat on my desk for months, and I'm like, what do I do with this? I remember calling up Grandma and Judith Moore, who channeled for her, and saying, well, what do we do with this? Um, and they said, we don't know. We're supposed to give it to you. You're supposed to figure that out. Buddha came in. That's my partner, the cat. Uh, she's an aspect of Seth. It's amazing. And she said, we're to go to Kauai, the island of Kauai, on March 3rd, 2012, and we're going to open the Stargate, and the white whales are coming back to the planet. That's the day. They're coming back, and it's also her birthday, so exciting. And they did. And, you know, at first I thought it was just going to be energy, like you know, like angels, you know, big big angels coming to help us, etherically. But they actually started to be born. Well, I don't think they were born. They walked in. There's no baby pictures, so they, they started to appear on the planet. Let's just say that. But in the meantime, the, the consciousness of this council, gave me these templates uh, and I developed them over time and they're still developing, but they are pretty clear on how, how to facilitate them and how to bring them forward. Once we pass the template on to the client, we tell them, this is the overview, what's going to happen. This is what you can expect. And of course they, once they get involved in our program, they can read about it too. So they have an idea. Is this a good idea for me? And they, you know, get their own sometimes hits. Sometimes I call up a client that's doing a series of sessions. They already know which one they want to do that day. They feel it, you know, Otherwise, we ask the whales for their guidance. And it's it's no two sessions are alike, but the templates do fall into these paradigm of the process of how we how we facilitate it. And from that point on, once the protocol starts, we don't know what's going to happen. We just know it's going to be great. We don't really know until it's over or even a couple of weeks later what really happened. But people's lives change. I tell you, they get better. And, wow. Yeah. Uh I can feel so many just wanting this for their own life, just yeah. like make it a protocol in our daily lives. Like, yeah. Well, my partner says these great, these whales that are here working on the earth plane now are our great master teachers in the stars. They're galactic, even cosmic teachers. They're teaching on all kinds of planets all over the place. And they're teaching us about greater ways to love, to be loved, to facilitate the human consciousness into a vaster, more, beautiful paradigm where we can create the new earth. We can live in peace and harmony. They're the way shores of that. The dolphins and the whale, particularly the whales, if I could describe them in one word, I have to follow what Joan Ocean said. And she said, they are bliss, bliss. They're floating up here, way up here. And in order for us to get there, sometimes the dolphins can help us rise up in our consciousness. If not, they do come down to meet us, but uh, it's this, it's just all encompassing love that they work with. And it's it's quite specific to each person because they know us. <laughs> they know us. Yeah, they know us. Okay. I uh went to the Joan Ocean of, uh, retreat in Hawaii. That's where I met you. And 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 before I got there, I had a dream. And in the dream, 
it was the whale eye just right yeah. there in the yeah. dream. And it was amazing. So, yeah. okay, magic happens when we connect to this consciousness and open yeah. for this. Energy. Okay, good. Let's go to another. Um, is it Jennifer? Let's go to Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. Hi. Hi. So the audio is kind of coming in and out. Maybe we ask the whales to stabilize it. Yeah, it's cutting out. And I, I've been, I'm homesick today, so I don't know if my voice is great. No, you can go. We, we can hear you now. Okay. Okay, now you're cutting out again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on this side <laughs> now okay. can you hear me now yeah, yes. okay. so i was at a healing conference giving a speech about the whales and dolphins Good. and okay you're cutting, now you're cutting out again they had someone had asked me a question about an ego about their ego and okay. mother Kiki brought in her ego to show us our egos were never meant to attach to our emotional bodies. And we're losing you, Jennifer. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like if you're touching something, it's like whenever you stop touching it, it gets all fuzzy. No, can't hear you. Yeah, interesting. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, sorry. That's a bummer. I was really interested in hearing that. So um, we can try. We can try again if she gets a chance to adjust her controls. Maybe. Yeah, you can try again. Maybe bounce off and bounce back on. That might help. That might do the trick. Yeah, to leave to leave and come back. That might reset it. Even yeah. come back and maybe try earbuds if you've got that with a mic. Okay. Well, um, Carolyn is here. That's uh, Carolyn went swimming with the dolphins with us in Hawaii. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, can you hear me okay? Yes. Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I've been swimming with the dolphins and the whales on retreat with Lori, and I met you, Lauren, Loren, sorry, <laughs> in Hawaii in 2017 on a Joan Ocean retreat. So there's just nothing like swimming with them. <laughs> Uh, except for this energy course. So <laughs> yeah, well, I, I first heard from Judith Moore, who Lori mentioned that I was actually a dolphin being from the beginning of creation. I'm like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> and then I heard Lori on uh, Jennifer McLean's radio show, and she was talking about going to Hawaii in 2013. And I was like, I have to go there. <laughs> So that's how I first met Lori. Mm -hmm. and we were in Maui and there was, you know, like a whole bunch of light workers that she told us made an agreement eons ago to come together to do work at Haleakala. Um, yeah, so I did a few other things and was just working on my soul path. And uh, Lori's a, probably the best animal communicator I've ever heard of. And I had to call her in to work with my two cats. And that was in January, 2018, when she was starting the whale school. And I mm -hmm. am on her list, so I had seen about it, but I thought, I'm way too busy, I can't do this. And I said to her when she was doing the animal healing, I said, I'll sign up next session. She goes, well, I won't be doing that till next year. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait till next year. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it. And I thought I was just doing it for my own purposes to begin with. But as soon as I started it, I knew like this was my life purpose. Like I was mm -hmm. meant to do this. And I went mm -hmm. all the way and was the first year to graduate. So there was three of us, I guess. Right. Next year, so. Yep. Yeah, Jan, um, Candace was in that, but she said she went back the next year. But I remember like so many people had had health issues that came up that they had to work mm -hmm. through. 
had so many spiritual things. So it is, I mean, it's big work, like when you're jumping in, but it is worth it. <laughs> and I think, you know, I think a lot of people have been doing energy work, you know, for the last few years, I mean, it's really, really accelerated. So, you know, probably people coming in now are stronger and their light bodies are ready for this. And especially if they've done some swimming with the dolphins or done some work with Lori, I would say they're going to be ready for it. So, yeah, but you don't have to be with them in the physical to be ready either. You oh. just have to have the calling in your heart. Yeah. <laughs> and, and once you meet them, you're going to want to be with them in person. So well, that's true. That's I true. I live to get out on the next boat trip. Because <laughs> we, we love people. that. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. So, um, yeah, for me, um, I mean, when I do the sessions, like, there's just nothing like it. Like, you're in the pod mind, and it's, you know, pure bliss. Um, you know, I, I've really just worked with light workers, people who are awake, people who aren't awake are not attracted to it. <laughs> But I look forward to the day. I'm really excited when Lori was saying it's going to be on, you know, every street and in every mainstream. Street. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for that. Um, but for me, I really get my um, my passion from the kids. So I've worked with um, adults who then referred me to their teenagers and their 20 somethings who really are just stuck and they don't know what their purpose is. So that has really been so fulfilling for me. And um, I also volunteer at the school right near my house um, where I serve food for the breakfast program. Uh, and this school has several autistic uh, classrooms. So they actually bus kids in and they've trained the teachers to work with them. But Lori didn't actually mention she has a, a charity called Dolphin Love Kids where she takes the kids out on the boat with the dolphins. and. Um, so I thought, I want to start working with them. So I've actually offered to work there for free um, with each of the classrooms. So I'm actually putting a program to together now to work with it. And so I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah. Wow, that's so good. This is <laughs> earth. It really is exciting to hear how you've taken it and you've opened your heart and are giving that um, that that for free. So my next step for you is just a piece of advice. There are there could be grants available oh, or um, boards of education. You're in Canada, right? Boards of education that would support and fund programs like that. Yeah, so yeah. keep up the good work. You're laying the groundwork right now. And that is exciting. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, inspiring people, working with the dolphins to inspire people on their purpose and their life path. That is new earth. I see that world and you're working to bring it. So yeah. cool. Yeah. And I, you know, I think the kids are the ones who have come in like with without karma and they're really are the ones who are going to help us get to the next step, right? So, yeah. Right. Oh, the kids connect so easily with dolphins. Oh, because they haven't been told that they can't, you know. When I get the kids together that I'm going to take on a boat trip, we give free seats to kids to take them out through the charity that I have. And I get them in a circle and I tell them, you know, I'm an animal communicator and you are too. So all you have to do, and I teach them a little process from the third eye to connect with the dolphins. And I tell them, when we get off the boat, I'm going to ask you what the dolphins told you. And they're like, oh, okay. You know, <laughs> so when they're on the boat, they're reaching out. You know, they're doing that to connect. When they get back off the boat, every single kid has a message and something that's very personal to them. The dolphins talk to them, and they are so happy to share that message. It's just amazing. Every single kid, whether they're three years old or they're 18, you know, they get something that's profound in guidance for themselves. It's exciting. So precious. So, Carolyn, for those who are starting out and considering this, what advice would you give them? Um, starting out, if they're going to take this course? It, yeah. Yes. And with the dolphins and whales yeah you know in your heart if you know this resonates with you and i can't say enough good things about them i mean i live eat breathe <laughs> all the spiritual work but the dolphins and whales like everybody who meets me they they say i have this joy and and the dolphins are known for the joy right so mm -hmm. yeah i just i don't know i want i want everybody to be in the pod mind 
um, I find this earth hard when people like don't think of others so yeah I just I want more people out there doing this so please sign up <laughs> Well, I think for the good of, of the many, that's the pod mind. In case you're, I mean, it's not that we're not to be concerned with our individual selves. Of course we are. Self-love is a foundation of, of any kind of spiritual or physical evolution. But once you care for yourself and you're ready, here comes my partner. Come on, jump up. Um, then you're ready. You're ready to go into the pod mind, which is other like-minded people working together to create the new earth which is a place of harmony and respect. And Lorenz's work is all about that, about working in the new earth. We're all there together, so. <laughs> yeah, the vibration, and you're meeting that vibration and you're helping others meet that vibration. Mm -hmm. And wow, it's so wonderful, Carolyn. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that, for listening to all of your heart as well and stepping up into it. Oh my goodness, thank you, beautiful. Okay, have a great day, everyone. Have a great day. There's Puda. <laughs> An aspect of Seth, the ascended master. She's a part of this too. She's got some wonderful things to share. I don't know if I'd have made that connection back in Mexico without her. So, you know, this is a cat that loves to go on the dolphin boat. She's been with dolphins since she was a baby. So, <laughs> <laughs> on airplanes, boats, trains, cars, you name it. Okay. Dolphin boats. Mm -hmm. All the boats. Uh, okay, we have Jennifer back. Hi, Jennifer. Let's try again. We'd like to hear from you. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so I met, I heard through Lori through the, she was on a Lara, and I had been going through suicide, trying to kill myself, trying to leave the planet. And I heard her. And something in me, I wasn't awake. Something in me was like, you need to do this. And I went and everything in my life has shifted. I was speaking at a healing conference and was channeling the mother white well, Wat Watkiti. Mm -hmm. And she came in. We were talking about egos. And how a lot of people think you have to go through a death of an ego to become whole, I guess is kind of, but not really. Um, Mother Whitewell brought in her ego and it was the most loving, peaceful feeling I've ever mm -hmm. experienced. Mm -hmm. And I've been able to work with my ego to detach from my emotional body. And my five-year-old autistic grandson that's nonverbal has been teaching me with the wells. I started doing well sessions for him. And Lori, you have, you've changed my life. Like I, the wells are amazing beings and her teachings that she's channeled. I, I wouldn't be on earth without him. Mm. Thank you, Jennifer. So happy you're here. Me too. <laughs> mm. Wow. And your mm. grandson, how has it helped him with the whale energy? Mm. Just functioning, being able to walk and communicate in his way. Because he doesn't speak, he doesn't really know sign. We're trying to teach him, but I'm able to teach his mom and my husband, who are absolutely not awake, how to tune into him. Mm -hmm. And I play well sounds in the house all the time, and it like you can just feel the vibration climbing. And so it's he lives with us, so it's it's really powerful. Profound. Yeah. Beautiful. So and how is your session work going with the clients? It's amazing. Every single client, when they walk in the door, their vibration changes and lifts, and they are just blown away at how much different. Mm -hmm. And you can't go back. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to be 
lift it up when you yeah. do this work. Yeah, they and lift no you up. No matter what you do, you can't. There's no going back. And they just want more and more and more. Yeah. They help you set your goals, like you said, or yes, lift yes. you up in the sense of you understanding your purpose on this planet and how incredibly unique we all are. Yes. And the power and the love that each person brings. When you can tune into that, the sky's the limit and they can bring you there. Yeah. And learning to live in your heart. Yes. The wells. Just. I smile nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a happy place. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think too, what you said earlier about helping us recognize how important it is that the shadow experiences have brought us to this place. So yeah. it's not like we flush them down the toilet and we say, oh, no darkness, no negativity. We embrace that part of ourselves because it's part of being human. It's part of, of what we all came here to play with the light and the shadow. And then ultimately to wake up, like rub the sleep out of our eyes with the help the dolphins bring us and the whales. And then we say, okay, I choose again. Oh yeah, I choose love now because I know the difference. You know, like I look at the, the experiences I've had that would be perceived to be painful or negative. And they have brought me to a place where I can see the difference in choosing every day through thought, word, and deed to be loving and know I have the kind of support that, that we all want, not not just from God, but from the elders that are here on the planet, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they. It's almost like the wells create space within you to observe your shadow. Yes. In a loving, transformative, graceful way. Without attachment or judgment or expectation. The second I can feel my shadow coming up, I'm able to step back and say, oh, that's just part of this. Okay. Thank you for sharing, but no thank you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And how that part of us, like Candace said, gets triggered you know in through karmic relationships that we have and the whales will come in particularly the dolphins in the in the calibration sessions and they literally sand that down so that yeah. person there's the, the trigger isn't there anymore you're just two people coming together for completely different vibration than you were moments ago because that shadow has been sanded down to where you can say oh i remember i love you thanks for that experience or you can say oh you're on a different path than i am that's okay too so you go this way and they go that way and it's all done with grace so, yeah. Wow, beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Jennifer. We Thank appreciate you. insight and your enthusiasm for this and your real life experience, life-saving experience with this. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the school, we are excited to share this with everyone. Uh, the link for the school, we'll put that in the chat box for everyone here on Zoom. And in our description box, it is there as well, wherever you're watching or listening to this video. And it starts soon. So Lori, um, tell us anything else you'd like to share about that school, the time that it requires or any of those details. Thank you. Yeah. Well, again, module one is first, and this is working with the whales, uh, doing learning to facilitate the whale healing and clearing, which is probably the most important session you'll do as a professional career facilitator, because everyone gets that first. So you do a lot of those. And then starting to acclimate the life body activations, all 12 of them are given in the first module. Uh, when the class starts uh, on April 2nd, it's a Sunday. Um, it's an all day thing. Starts usually, I think, at 10 a.m. and we go to about 5 p.m. and we have a lunch break. But it's 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 an intense. I don't want to tell you it's not a lot of work because it is, but it's worth it. I mean, if this is what you're called to do, you know, it's so the time just flies by because we're just having these incredible experiences and you're transforming right before your own eyes, you know. And we work with each other, as I said, the classmates. Uh, so you get to know each other pretty well as we work through. Uh, you don't have the same partner. We keep shifting. So you get to work with everybody in the class at some point. Um, it's 30 hours of training. And then we usually take a two to three week break. Uh, and the class votes on the module two dates. I haven't published those yet, but they'll start in July. And then you'll go into the fall. And then we go into internship for those that graduate from module two, which is learning the 12 calibration sessions with the dolphins, 12 strands of DNA, basically, where we study that. 
um, and you start to work with people you don't know. You're still not being paid for your work. You're working as an intern, and we have intern meetings, and you're expected to turn in your paperwork so we can track that and be available to help you. But then once the graduation occurs, you receive a certificate of achievement. You receive support from us um, in the school. And situations like this can occur where I can ask you to come and speak with me or be a part of something the school is promoting. Uh, we don't just drop you. You know, it continues the education. Um, I'm thinking next year, too, we'll have a reunion of all five years of people will come together. Maybe we'll have, you know, a physical location where we can do some boat trips together or we could go to Hawaii. And who knows? I don't know. But it's it's ongoing. It's just an ongoing level of support. Um, so the, that's that's what's involved. Module one, module two, internship. Uh, or unless you just choose to come for yourself, which is totally fine. We don't put any pressure on you to complete things by a certain period of time. If you just, if you say to us, I'm just here for my personal growth. You're, so, you're totally welcome to come into the practice sessions. You're treated as just like the other students are without the pressure or I would say the, the deadlines of completing by a certain day a certain thing. But for those that want the professional experience, we do, you know, the whales are pretty, I mean, I don't want to say they're strict, but they're adamant about you completing certain things so that they feel that you're capable of facilitating the energy that they're providing to the client. But it isn't quite like becoming a doctor or a nurse, though, because, again, you're facilitating their energy. They're the doctors and they're, you know, the master teachers. But we do have to facilitate it and we become their voice. So it becomes very easy for you to channel them in the sense of they want to say something, give a message to the client. You're able to transcribe that or to speak it. And they make sure of that. They make absolutely certain they make that connection with you. And if you're sitting here saying, well, I don't think I can do that. Well, you know what? You can. <laughs> I have lots of people, including myself, who didn't think I could do that. And, and I'm doing it because I set my intention. I allowed for it to happen. So um, as far as finances go, uh, there are payment plans available. You can check that out. Uh, Loren's site provides that for you. And so, you know, we can make that easier for you where you don't have to pay everything up front. Uh, it can work out for you that way. Yes. Uh, it, it, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, very easy and affordable. And it's an investment. This is a um, training that will set you up with a new modality to go out into the world and help others. So it really is beautiful. Thank you, Lori, for sharing that. You're thank welcome. You. And thank you, everyone. You will know if this is right for you by the energy that you feel in your heart. So if yes. you're ready for that, please check it out. And the two payment plan is there available as well. Oh, thank you, Lori. Again, we are loving thank the dolphins. Uh, there's another special offer for those who don't want to take a training. That one you guys can check out as well. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's new videos that Lori's done with the dolphins and the whales. So please check that out and uh learn more if that interests you. Did you want to say anything briefly about the other special offer of your courses? Um, well, I think it's very generous. Uh, we're offering a lot of products that I think you'll enjoy. It will assist you in raising your vibration and doing deeper meditations, levels of consciousness. And then there's a lot of replays for classes that we feel will benefit you as well, expanding your consciousness and bringing you to a level of proficiency at the different things we're seeking, including activating the third eye and the pineal. A lot of classes that I do are centered around restoring your telepathy and your clear audience. So I think you'll, you'll enjoy checking it out. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Lori. As we say goodbye, is there any other final thoughts you'd like to share? Just follow your hearts. This, this, I, I, I totally feel that this program <clears throat> is completely designed pardon me, by the dolphins and whales. And if you're guided to do it, you know, we're here to support you every step of the way. Uh, if it's not something that resonates for you, then maybe there'll be another day or you'll want to consider a personal healing uh, without committing to, you know, a long-term practice and educational program such as this. But I just, I, I feel that each person can make that decision. And if you have more questions, you know, you can contact me and let me know I'm available. But I think uh, if you look at the information in more detail on the page, uh, that'll answer a lot of your questions as well. And we look forward to the, the new students coming in that are called to do this work and go out into the world and just make it a better place.
Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you everyone for watching and listening. We love you and we are excited for you to step into new service roles for New Earth. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Candace, Carolyn, and Jennifer. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We love you. Namaste. This has been a presentation of New Earth One Network, your home for New Earth Living. Access information, education, and videos on living from the heart in unity consciousness. Visit newearthone.com.